Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose and today we have a knife review. Kind of a special one. Uh, I typically don't buy knives this large or at this price point but I was able to make a trade and get a decent deal on this and it's pretty uh, I'm pretty lucky to actually be able to handle this and uh, give you my two cents and review on the Benchmade proxy this is the Benchmade proxy uh, so this is a Warren Osborne design uh, this is actually his last design to make it into production um, and it's pretty impressive it's very large if you don't know who Warren Osborne is he's a custom knife maker designer who passed away I think in 2016 and uh, he was the one who, I could be 17, so if I mess up, please comment below with the corrections. Um, but he was the one who did the um, Benchmade 940, which is an incredibly popular knife, really well designed, beautiful knife as well. So um, this is a very large folder that he, was, he made. So that being said, we'll go over some specs, and I'll give you my two cents on it. So, first off, um, the overall length of it is 8.85 inches, the blade length is 3.87 inches, and the blade thickness is 0.15 inches. The handle length is 5.10 inches, and the handle thickness is 0.5 inches, so a half inch thick. Uh, the overall weight is 4.86 ounces. So um honestly for a knife this size it's actually fairly light uh which is pretty cool because it is a very large knife so we'll start with the blade um overall it's a really cool kind of rounded drop point blade it has this continuous flow throughout the handle and the top of the blade it is a scandy grind or not a scandy grind it has a saber grind um and it looks like it is a flat grind, so there is, oh wait, no, maybe it's a hollow. Well, the information I'm reading off on Blade HQ doesn't really say one way or the other, but it is what it is. Um, so it looks like it might be a hollow grind. If it is, it's a very shallow hollow grind, but close to a flat. It is a saber grind, so we have this large flat of the spine here and then it goes into the first main bevel and then into the sharpened secondary bevel. Uh, it has a plain edge uh, with a nice little bit of belly up front towards the tip. Uh, it is a thicker um, blade which adds to its strength. There's a nice sharpening choil right uh, towards the end but as you can see they left this huge spot here where they could have actually extended the cutting edge of the blade and maybe put the choil there but because we have this other large rounded spot here that acts as a finger choil they probably left that open just for protection of the user so you can see you can grab up like that which is pretty nice there is no jimping and there are two studs on it but those are not thumb studs they are stop pins or stop studs which means that when it opens uh, it'll hit the frame of the knife, and that is what prevents it from swinging all the way through. As you can see, it is a flipper design. Uh, there's no jimping on the flipper or texture, so it flips open. That becomes the finger guard and also a place to rest for that front finger choil as well. And I love knives with fun ah, front finger choils, if you don't know that. Uh, it says it has a satin finish, but it looks almost bleed, bead blasted. Um, but either way, it is even all the way through. We have the Benchmade Butterfly, and it is model number 928. And on the back side, we have the Osborne logo, as well as 20CV. So this is a CPM 20CV. It was an excellent higher grade super still. Uh, close to M390, which is really nice. Moving into the handle, we have uh, the majority of the frame, or the handle and the frame, is made up of this large piece 
of milled out G10. Uh, we got some nice contouring here to add the look. I wouldn't say it's textured at all. It's actually fairly slick, um, but it, it has a nice feel to it. Very minimal texturing, if anything. We have some basic hardware um, that is flattened and recessed. So there's no protrusions of the hardware. Uh, when we look to the interior, we see that uh, there is no liner that is inlaid into the G10. And on the back, we have a titanium uh, frame lock. So it is a frame lock with this nice piece of titanium to create the other side of the frame and the handle. We have a satin finished uh, split arrow pocket clip. And there is a... Um, lock bar insert stainless steel so you can adjust that if it wears out and then you can flip their bronze phosphorus washers I believe in there and it just flips out really nice the lockups good centering's great and it's just fantastic so there's that now comparing it to some other knives we have the Benchmade Griptilian Another Benchmade in there. We have the Bird Raven 2. And we have the Kershaw Bra Barricade. Kershaw Barricade, which actually rests pretty high compared to the rest of them there. Um, and we'll even throw in the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Um, as you can see, the proxy is a very large blade. It's at three and a quarter inches overall as far as where I lay the handle compared to the rest of these. Most of these are three and a half to three and a quarter. This is three and three fourths or three and three quarters. Um, and it looks like the barricade is about three and a half. Handle wise, it's longest, uh, though it seems to be matching the PM2 in handle length, but obviously it's a larger blade. And yeah, so there's that. Now, quick comparison of the blade thickness. Um, looks ever so slightly thicker than the PM2. Handle-wise, it looks uh, just a little bit thicker, maybe. Uh, the Griptilian uh, looks similar, but I think the proxy is just a hair thicker in blade stock. And I'm just doing this on my own observations, but the handle is thicker on the grip. Uh, this looks to be the same, or possibly that the Raven 2 is actually a slight bit thicker in blade stock. And then the handle thickness looks pretty similar, but maybe the, the Bird Raven 2 might have a slightly thicker handle. And then the Proxy is uh, definitely thicker than the Barricade handle thickness. It looks like the Barricade is just slightly thicker, but it has similar look to it with the uh, milling or the contoured handles uh, as far as the pocket clip one more thing it is right left carry tip up only so coming to the end of this um, this is a very nice knife very gorgeous definitely a collector's item more than I'd see people using it it has a lot of forward heft with the blade, which means this could be actually kind of good for chopping if you want to use it in that capacity, though I don't recommend it, uh, especially for folders. I'd never recommend any sort of chopping, but, you know, if it's very light, you know, pencil size sticks or smaller, maybe you could use it in that capacity. But you do feel the heft and you do feel the ability to chop plus with that blade length. Um, you know, if you're a fan of Warren Osborne, you definitely have to make sure this is in your collection. Um, now, as far as going into the Ugly Brown Glove Test, I actually feel more grip on the titanium size, which actually feels kind of like a matte finish. It actually grips the glove really well, where the G10 side is pretty much smooth. I don't feel any texturing at all. There is no jimping on the top of the spine, either on the scales or on the handle. Um, so any sort of grip I do get is on that titanium frame. But uh, the contouring and the finger cutout and the guard kind of secured in hand. Though I do feel my fingers slipping on that G10. And as far as finding the lock up, whoa, because <laughs> I think I'm wearing a glove. Uh, you'll feel that 
there is a lot of weight and heft to this, so be careful when you're closing it because it will swing shut with a lot of force. And, uh, yeah, so it does pass the ugly brown glove test. I'll give it an 80%. It's not spectacular, um, but it does function with the glove. I don't have tremendous amount of grip, but because of the contouring and the finger guard, it holds it pretty well. So... There you have it, guys. This is the Benchmade Proxy. I believe retail price at the time of this video is at about $300. You might be able to find it just under that. Um, but it is a very large knife. Really good quality uh, blade steel. Titanium uh, frame lock with the stainless steel lock bar insert. And a uh, nice G10. I don't know if it's offered in any colors. So far, I've only seen it in this kind of coyote brown. Um, but there might be variations of it in the future. Overall, check it out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check the eye in the upper right-hand corner to uh, some of my other videos. And uh, leave any comments or questions down below. And I'll see you outside. Thank you.